The line may be the most common entity in CAD, but polyline may be the one that's most used because it's so flexible. So come on over here to the Home tab, click Polyline, and then start drawing. Click to start the first segment, then click again to end it. Click for another segment, and at this point you can continue drawing straight line segments, or you can right click and then choose Arc. And that's point NanoCAD switches to arc drawing mode. And you can keep on drawing arcs. Or you can right click, switch to line mode again. And then if you want to close the polyline so that it draws the final segment for you, right click and choose close. What is special about a polyline is that NanoCAD treats it as a single entity even though it's made up of many lines and arcs. When you select the polyline, all of the entities that make it up are selected at the same time. It's like it was a group. Over here in the properties bar, you can change parts of it either globally or by segment. So let's first change the width overall and I'm going to change that to 50. And notice the entire polyline is, has changed its width. I'll return that to 1. Or you can change the width of individual segments and you can give them a varying width. So I'm going to start off with a width of 10 on one segment and then end that segment with a width of 40. This is segment 1, the segment that starts at vertex 1 and vertex 1 is the point where you began drawing the polyline. We can go through the vertices. As I do, NanoCAD highlights the current selected vertex with the green now I can change the width of this arc, 25 to 5. And now we have two variable width arcs along this polyline. While the polyline is selected, the grips do specific actions as well. So this rectangular grip moves this segment. This square grip moves the two connected segments. And the same actions occur any other rectangular or square grip that you select. In this drawing I've selected all the entities that are polylines and so you can see that polylines are excellent for defining curves, rectangles, and blocks. To create polylines with flowing curves use the pedit command. You enter it at the command prompt, press enter, and then choose the polyline. Once you've selected it there are numerous options along the bottom. The most dramatic is the spline option which turns a polyline into a spline. Click undo to reverse the action. The decurve option removes the arcs and turns them into straight line segments. Fit option is unusually named, but it turns all segments of the polyline into curves. And then we have the open option, which gets rid of that final closing vertex. We've seen how flexible polylines are, which is why NanoCAD uses them for several entities. For example, rectangles, regular polygons, and even the unusual entity known as the donut. Because they're polylines, they can be edited just like polylines are. Let's give this donut a global width of four. And this polygon, well, we can use the pedit command to turn it into a spline. Even though this polygon made out of a polyline is a, now a spline, it retains its original form. The grips are round, indicating that these are control points. Control points manipulate the shape of a spline. You can grab one and drag it and distort the spline into any shape you need. Now say you've drawn a whole bunch of lines and arcs and think to yourself, gosh, I wish I'd drawn them as a single polyline. It'd be so much easier to handle. You can convert connected lines and arcs into a polyline with the pedit command. So start the pedit command at the command prompt and then enter M for multiple. This, this lets you choose all of them. Use window selection to select them all. And then NanoCAD asks you convert lines and arcs to polylines. Answer yes. Now they are turned into individual polylines as the properties bar tells us. So you probably want to convert them all into a single polyline. This time Use the join option. All the lines and arcs have been turned into a single polyline.